underground filmmakers are exploring the poetic aspect of cinema. The mainstream makes films for people that buy cornflakes. It's a right passage. If you haven't been an independent filmmaker, if you haven't started from zero, spent your own money, made something badly, fucked it up, you know, screened it, everyone's hated it, you know, made something else, done it a little bit better. If you haven't gone through that, then, then you're not a filmmaker, are you? Yeah, it's, it's very punk. It is very punk. He's an idiot, can't stand him, hate that actor. I'm hacking things together. Um, is what's exciting about it. You know, kind of counterculture and outside uh, visionary art. We're going to end up with something different to just the industry. All the movies that people celebrate now from 30 years ago, at the time, a lot of people just didn't get them or dismissed them and, you know, like, didn't know how to read them or understand they felt like they were too slow or that they were too strange and now they've just become accepted parts of like the canon you know like underground cinema is diy and it is homemade and they just like created absolute havoc and mayhem and were pissing on people's doors breaking bottles everywhere climbing on cars yeah, it just shows you you don't have to have funding to do this, you just need the initiative. I was like, yeah, of course we can do it, because to me this was the biggest opportunity I've had yet. And then I put the phone down and I was like, how the fuck am I going to do this video? Hold it, hold it, this is a secure area. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. When I made, you know, I didn't know what the hell I was doing when I made my first film. At least there are some people looking to make films that are different, a creative, cultural difference.